Welcome to the Battery Shunt 300 tutorial. Check out this video for step-by-step -step guidance on setting up the Battery Shunt 300 and its accessories. If you're unboxing or looking for specific details, use the timestamp chart for quick navigation. Let's start by unboxing and checking all the items in the box. Before you get started, we recommend reading through the user manual and get the following hand tools. Risk of electric shock. Before installing the shunt, please turn off all devices within the system and ensure there is no current flowing through the circuit. Please note that the maximum continuous discharge current of the battery bank connected at the time of installation should not exceed 300 amps to prevent damage. First, use the Phillips screwdriver number one to remove the upper and lower covers. Using a wrench of 11 16 inch, install the bare wire on the battery negative. Unscrew the screw cover. Install the bare wire on the shunt B negative terminal. Now we've connected the shunt to the negative terminal of the main battery. Unscrew the screw cover. Install the bare wire on the shunt P negative terminal. Install the bare wire on the device BAT negative. Now we've connected the shunt to the BAT negative terminal of the device. All of our current going into and out of the battery has to be connected to the P negative of the shunt. Please note that the P negative and B negative should not be connected in reverse. Otherwise, the current data will be reversed. There are two connectors here, B1 and B2. Using a slotted screwdriver of 1 mm, install the B positive wire on the B1 terminal of the shunt. Using an 11 16 inch wrench, install the B positive wire on the positive terminal of the main battery. Now we've connected the shunt to the positive terminal of the main battery. Also, the battery shunt can be connected to the starting battery to get the starter battery voltage. Using a slotted screwdriver of 1 mm, install the B positive wire on the B2 terminal of the shunt. Install the B positive wire on the positive terminal of the starter battery. Now we've connected the shunt to the positive terminal of the starter battery. You can see that the voltage of the starting battery is already displayed on the phone, which is very convenient. Please note that B1 terminal connects to the main battery, and B2 terminal connects to the starter battery. Any misconnection will result in abnormal data. The included temperature sensor measures the temperature of the main battery and sends the temperature value to the DC Home app. The app displays a low or high temperature alarm when the battery temperature reaches a preset limit. We attached one end of the temperature sensor to the battery shunt, with the metal head side attached to the battery case. Finally, install the lower and upper covers in turn. Before use, please make sure that all connections are tight. Otherwise, the heating under high current is serious and there is a potential safety hazard. Now we can see the power LED indicator is flashing, indicating that the installation has been successfully completed and you can start using it. If the power LED indicator fails to illuminate, please inspect the cables for any signs of short circuits or loose connections. If the issue persists, please reach out to our technical support team. The Battery Shunt 300 allows you to monitor real-time charging and discharging data and customize related parameters. When connecting with the DC Home app, turn on the app and tap the plus on the upper right corner. Once the DC Home app detects the Battery Shunt 300, their names will show up on the screen. Tap Confirm to connect Battery Shunt 300. When connecting with Renogy One Core, open Renogy One Core and tap Add Devices to search for the Battery Shunt 300. Click on Add to complete the pairing. Once connected, Renogy One Core will be able to read all monitored battery parameters. For initial use, set the rated battery amp hours 
that is the rated battery capacity, on the app prior to other operations. To ensure reliable readout of the SOC of your battery, SOC synchronization is required, especially for batteries that have been used for an extended period. Through the DC Home app, we can customize the alarm settings for low SOC alarm, high charge or discharge amps alarm, high or low volts alarm, and battery high or low temperature alarm to alert you to abnormal conditions for the data you need. In addition to real-time data monitoring, the Battery Shunt 300 also helps record historical data via the DC Home app, allowing you to make reasonable decisions about your entire power system. And that's how to install and set up your Battery Shunt 300. For more helpful content like this, check out our Learning Center at support.renogy.com for more educational blogs or tips.